Emeka Adenjo says Salsa saved his life. For the Nigerian street photographer and dancer, it offered solace as he grappled abuse, depression, and suicidal thoughts. Salsa was the only thing that could make me smile. All those days I was battling, fighting with my demons, with my past, with my everything. Salsa was the only thing that makes me feel like living. The most interesting thing about living on earth was salsa. Today, Adindu is bringing the healing power of the popular Latin dance to others. He offers free salsa classes in Nigeria's capital, Abuja. They are open to anyone going through trauma or those who just want to unwind and relax. Because it's a couple dance. And when you dance with someone, there's, you, you, there's no space for you to think about your sorrow because one, you're thinking about the music, you're thinking about um, the counts, the rhythm. In culturally conservative Nigeria, mental health issues often carry a stigma. Mental health professionals like Dr. Nancy Ojinta say that stigma can exacerbate the situation, equating mental health struggles with spiritual problems. It is not a spiritual problem, it is a health problem. You know, people always easily identify um, physical health. Okay, I have malaria, I have diabetes, I have attention. I think it's normal, but then when it comes to their brain being ill, they start trying to find another um, way to explain it away, instead of knowing that it is one more illness. According to a 2021 report from UNICEF, one in six Nigerians aged between 15 and 24 struggle with issues such as depression or anxiety. Adindu says Salsa gave him love and happiness when he was most in need. Passing that on to others, he says, can be his gift to the world. <laughs> <laughs>